Hey there, fellow food adventurers. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the wildest and most interesting food trends out there. Today, we're serving up a dish that might make some of you squirm a bit. The concept of insects and worms in a carnivore diet. It's not as unusual as you might think. In fact, insects and worms have been a part of human diets for thousands of years in many cultures, and they're making a comeback in a big way. They're packed with protein, full of essential nutrients, and are a sustainable food source. But we know it's a lot to swallow, figuratively and literally. So we're here to break it down for you. And who knows, by the end you might be ready to crunch into a cricket or munch on a mealworm. Are these creepy crawlies the next big thing in nutrition? Stick around to find out. So you might be wondering, are worms and insects even considered part of a carnivore diet? Well, guess what? They absolutely can be. Insects and worms, though not your typical steak or chicken, are indeed a form of animal protein. And let's not forget, carnivore diet enthusiasts, you're all about that protein, aren't you? In fact, these little creatures are not just any ordinary source of protein. They're supercharged with a whole host of other essential nutrients too. From vitamins to minerals to fiber, they've got it all. Imagine powering up your carnivore diet with such nutrient-dense food. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Now let's take a quick trip around the world. Did you know that there are over 2 billion people globally who regularly include insects and worms in their diet? Yes, you heard it right, over 2 billion. In many cultures, insects and worms are not seen as pests, but as food. From crunchy crickets in Thailand to savory silkworms in Korea, these tiny critters are relished in many parts of the world. But why do so many people eat insects and worms? Well, the answer is simple. They are not just a sustainable source of food, but also a nutritional powerhouse. They're packed with protein, low in fat, and rich in essential nutrients. In fact, some insects can even rival traditional meat sources when it comes to protein content. Quite a feat for such small creatures, wouldn't you agree? But let's hold our horses for a moment. We've established that insects and worms are protein rich and eaten by billions. But are they really safe to eat? And more importantly, can you thrive on a diet that includes them? These are questions that we need to delve into. So stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of the insect and worm diet. You might be surprised by what we find. But are they really safe to eat? And can you thrive on a diet that includes them? Let's find out. Safety first. Can you eat insects and worms without any health risks? Now that's an intriguing question, isn't it? The answer is a resounding yes, provided they're sourced from reputable suppliers. This is an important detail to remember. Just like your steaks and chicken breasts, the insects and worms you consume should come from safe and controlled environments. Insects farmed for human consumption are raised in clean, controlled conditions. They're fed a wholesome diet and are free from harmful pesticides and bacteria. This ensures that when they land on your plate, they're as safe and healthy as any other dietary protein source. But of course, Safety isn't just about where your food comes from. It's also about how it's been a part of human consumption over time. And here's a fun fact. Insects have been on the menu for thousands of years. That's right. Ancient civilizations like the Romans and Greeks considered them a delicacy. This might seem surprising to some of us today, but it shows that insects and worms are far from a new fad. They're a tried and tested source of nutrition enjoyed by our ancestors and still consumed by over 2 billion people around the globe today. From crispy crickets to succulent silkworms, these tiny creatures have been providing sustenance to humans for millennia. So as long as they're sourced responsibly, eating insects and worms is entirely safe. They're not just a novelty or an adventurous new food trend. They're a part of our collective culinary history, a protein-packed component of our diets that has stood the test of time. But of course, it's natural to wonder, can I thrive on a diet that includes these critters? That's a question that leads us into a whole new area of discussion. We'll be delving into the benefits and potential drawbacks of an insect and worm diet in the next part of our journey. So don't go anywhere. It's about to get even more interesting. But wait, can you really thrive on such a diet? Let's explore the benefits and drawbacks next. Now, let's talk about whether you can thrive on a diet that includes insects and worms. Insects and worms are not just another food fad. They're a legitimate source of nutrition, loaded with benefits that might surprise you. 
These small creatures pack a big punch when it comes to protein. That's right, insects and worms are protein powerhouses. And it's not just any protein, but complete protein, which means they contain all the essential amino acids your body needs. But it's not just about protein. Insects and worms also offer a rich supply of vitamins and minerals, including iron, zinc, and vitamin B12, which are crucial for maintaining optimal health. So if you're following a carnivore diet, insects and worms could be a fantastic addition to your menu, providing you with a diverse range of nutrients. And here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know that cricket flour contains more protein per gram than beef? That's right. Cricket flour packs a whopping two times the protein content of beef. So, if you're looking for a high-protein, low-fat alternative to traditional meats, cricket flour could be your new go-to. But the benefits of an insect and worm diet don't stop at nutrition. There's also the environmental aspect to consider. Raising insects for consumption requires significantly less land, water and food compared to traditional livestock, making it a more sustainable choice. So. Insects and worms not only offer a nutritional powerhouse, but also a greener way of eating. Who would have thought these tiny creatures could make such a big impact on our plates and our planet? But are there any drawbacks? And what about the taste? Stay tuned to find out. While there are numerous benefits, there are also a few drawbacks to consider. Just like any dietary choice, incorporating insects and worms into your carnivorous diet can come with its own set of challenges. The first hurdle is allergies. Just as some people are allergic to shellfish, some might also have allergies to certain insects. So it's crucial to know your allergies before you take a bite. If you're unsure, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional first. Another challenge is the yuck factor. Let's face it, for many, the thought of eating insects and worms can be, well, a little bit icky. It's a psychological hurdle that might be tough to overcome, but remember, our ancestors have been munching on these little critters for thousands of years. In many cultures around the world, insects are still a staple food today. Now, let's talk about taste. You might be wondering, what do these creepy crawlies taste like? Well, you might be surprised. Many people describe the taste of certain insects as nutty, while others have a flavor profile similar to shrimp or chicken. For instance, mealworms are often compared to roasted nuts while crickets are said to taste like popcorn or toasted bread. But don't just take our word for it. The taste can vary depending on the species of the insect, how it's prepared, and even where it's from. Some people enjoy them raw, while others prefer them cooked, roasted, or even ground into flour. In the end, it's all about broadening your culinary horizons and adding a bit of adventure to your plate. So if you're feeling brave and curious, why not give it a try? curious about which insect tastes the best? Let's find out together in our next video, where I'll be ranking them from best to worst. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more food adventures. We've journeyed into a world many wouldn't dare to venture into, but isn't that the spirit of a true food adventurer? We've discovered that bugs can indeed be a part of a carnivore diet, and not just a part, but a nutritious, protein-packed part at that. Are you adventurous enough to give them a try? Give us a thumbs up if this video has sparked a newfound curiosity in you about an insect-based diet. We're eager to hear your thoughts, so don't be shy to drop a comment below. Would you dare to take the leap and try eating insects? Or perhaps you already have? Let's start a conversation about it. Thanks for watching and as always, stay curious and keep exploring. See you next time.